U.S. tech stock Nasdaq kept rallying higher and higher. I think that to everyone's、uh, question is that when is it going to drop? Or I think the scary thing is that when it's going to crash. I have here Nasdaq historical chart starting from 2016, showing all the corrections, the past corrections. And good news is that there is a recurring pattern that happened before it starts to crash or it starts to drop. Stay tuned because I'm going to share with you what is this pattern about. And you know the key thing to ask is whether this pattern is right now happening. I think that that's in your mind. If you do like to be updated as and when that the pattern confirms, remember to follow me in Telegram because this is where I update. Uh, you know, instantly all my thoughts and、uh, my videos and my charts as well. All right, so let's continue to talk about what this pattern is all about. Before I talk about this pattern, I just want to ask whether you have this experience before.、Uh, for example, you sold your stock at a high, and then you know instead of price dropping after you sold, it kept going higher and higher until the point you say, ah,、oh, I should just you know hang on my stocks and I shouldn't sell. And you thought of actually buying, and you, perhaps you bought in. And the moment that you bought in, it was starts to drop to the point that it went below the price that you previously sold and went so much lower. So it seems that there will be a high that's created, and the market just kept. Pushing the price higher, and because of the second push, I repeat, because of second push, then price finally fell and it moved down. And this is exactly what Nasdaq always do for the past years since 2016 before each crash. All right, so this is a weekly chart. So the first step to do is to switch to your weekly chart because you do get a lot more useful information from the weekly chart to really know that the market is coming down. It's really no point to use the daily chart. So please use the weekly chart, and、uh, these are each of the different drop as much as thirty seven percent or as little as eleven to twelve percent, but. It's probably easier to switch to a line chart. So when you switch to a line chart, you do get to see the pattern quite easily.、Uh, let me just draw you this pattern here. So price has to be heading higher. That means that price has to be on an uptrend. All right, and then it goes like、uh, when price moves down. Okay, the first down is encountered because this would be the place where a lot of people thought that a、uh, price is going to correct, but it doesn't lead to a change of trend. So what we need to see is that we need to see that price has another surge up, and this is where、uh, you know a lot of buyers are being attracted to buy at a high price, and it will first lead to the first failure. The first failure would be where price close. Below the previous high that it broke, this will be the first failure here. So you must see that price move below the high that it broke, and second failure would be that it's close below the previous low. So this will be the pattern here. So this seems to be like a blow off top. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a light? All right, let's inspect the crash. All right, that's about thirty-seven percent from November twenty-one. Okay, you see that before that, when you switch to the weekly chart and the line chart, you don't see this pattern here, right? You don't see that price make a high, all right, and drops, and then it continued to push higher. So there was a break above it, and then after that, price you know fell this previous high, and I called this a wash and rinse, and at the same time, it broke below the previous low. So this would be the pattern that first started the drop in Nasdaq. Now if You ask me before that what happened.、Uh, do we see any of this ultra push here? Do we see any of this, you know, second push here、uh, prior to the price movement of Nasdaq correcting、uh, for a little bit?、Uh, the answer would be no. I don't see that, right? Because there wasn't any failure of the high that it broke. Now let's take a look at this pattern here, right? So it's similar pattern, right? So we do have a high that's being、uh, formed, and then price continued to move higher. Yes, there was a little bit of a failure here, but then it doesn't close below the previous low. Okay, now let's、um, take a look at what happened here, right? So yes, there was a second high that's being made here, all right. And then was there a failure? Yes, the answer yes. And was there a close below the previous low? The answer well, it's again yes, right? And and that led to a drop of about twelve percent. Okay, so let's take a look at again the previous pattern here that's happened during the twenty twenty. That's during the COVID time. 
Okay, so do we see a high point here? Yes, and then was there another one more try to push higher? Yes, and was there a failure? Yes, because price closed below the previous high. And was there a close below the low? The answer again, yes. Okay, so and that's about a 30% drop. Okay, so let's continue on and then let's take a look at here. That was 23% drop, right? And uh, was there a high point here? Here was a high, all right? And then this was another high. Was there a uh, close below the previous high? Uh, yes, it did after a while. And was there a close below the previous low? Yes, it did, right? And that Okay, led to a drop of about 23%. Okay, so we've seen in each of this occasion, right, starting from 2016, where we have a drop of about 18, 23, and then we have here about 30, and then 12, and then this one was 37. And let's take a look at the recent one that happens last year between uh, August and September. So let's uh, continue to look at it. Uh, you realize that, yes, there was this recurring pattern that happened. Okay, there was a high, and then there was an and then one more high so it failed that high so that's the wash and wins and it's also closed below the previous low okay and this led to a drop of about 11.7 percent in nasdaq all right very important question what's the pattern right now uh, is nasdaq showing any sign i'm going to talk about that but before this if you're interested to know more about wash and wins remember to click the link here because currently uh, there is a full cash cost refund that means that you know by taking the cost you do get a cash back that is equal to the full fee of the cost all right so let's move to nasdaq right now all right, the current pattern of Nasdaq, let's search for that, you know, high point first, the first high point. Yes, this is the first high point. And the next question, is there another high that's higher than that? Yes, we saw that happening. So there was another push. Okay, next question is that, is there a close below the previous high? Well, we are seeing it and uh, perhaps that let's switch this into a, you know, candlestick chart and uh, then perhaps we, we can have a better view here because then, you know, this was that horizontal level that we are looking at, that previous high and uh, there was a pushed higher. So I call this a wash and right now uh, we are still uh, not, uh, you know close for the week so it's too early to say that there is a rinse back in uh, so if there is that means at the end of the week that means at the end of friday trading day if price closed below this high here all right then uh you know we're gonna see the wash and means coming and of course that price shouldn't move below the previous low so this was the previous low that i've identified you might want to switch this into a line chart uh, and you come to a conclusion that we do have a zone here so let me just read you the levels all right okay so the key levels right now that we are looking would be that nasdaq shouldn't close below uh uh, 18,000 which is about 18,000 here exactly 18,000 you shouldn't have a weak close below 18,000 uh, if it does this will set the first sign of a wash and means okay so this one would be your wash here w and this one would be the rinse now then, uh, again, that we mustn't see price closing below another critical level. And what's that critical level? And that would be this level here, which would be about 17,300. And of course, the first warning would be around this price here. And that's about uh, 17,469. I would think that it's about 17,400 to a range of 17,300. And that would be the key level here. So, all right. So I come to the end of my video and hope that this sharing is very useful for you to, uh, you know, not to guess about whether Nasdaq would crash, but to use a very formalized approach, right, to look at the market. Now, if you do have any other things that you want me to share, remember to leave me a comment. I'll be very happy to talk about that. And if I have one video that I want to recommend is to take a look at this video on HS tag, which is Hang Seng tag. Uh, because one of the observation I have is that there might be a flow of funds into Asia, and that flow of funds is right now, perhaps, you know, into STI and Hang Seng tag. All right, I'll see you in my next video.